I think we need to make our own Wizarding World alphabet today. Are you in? Hey everyone, Ben and Ob here, and today we are bringing you the ABCs of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. For this first part of our ABCs, we're of course starting with A. To tell you what A is, we gotta go on Forbidden Journey. A is for Aragog. I'm not a big fan, but I am a fan of this ride. You know, come to think of it, A could also be for Albus Dumbledore, who we're gonna see in the queue here shortly. I like that better. I like that better than a giant spider. We have our first letter of the alphabet here. We have A for Albus Dumbledore. We will also show you Aragog. I think that is also a valid A to use for the alphabet, but we can't show you Forbidden Journey because we can't film on it. So we'll find a different way to show you Aragog. Time to go find the letter B. I have a few in mind. B is for Butterbeer, Beau Baton, and Birdie Bot's Every Flavored Beans. There are a number of bees in the Wizarding World, and I couldn't pick just one. So, here's a few different options. We got Butterbeer behind us, we got Birdie Bot's and Honey Dukes, and if it stops raining, Beau Baton's gonna come out soon enough. While we're in Honey Dukes, we might as well point out the next letter of our alphabet, and that is C. C stands for chocolate frogs and cauldron cakes. There are so many great sweet treats in honey dukes and sugar plums. It's hard to pick just one. So grab yourself a chocolate frog and a cauldron cake and enjoy your day. What do you got for D? D, there's a lot of options here. Death Eaters, Dark Mark, Diagon Alley, Durmstrang, but we're not in Diagon. I don't have a dark mark today. I wish there were Death Eaters out, but it's not HHN season, so I guess we'll go with Durmstrang. Uh, <laughs> in Hogsmeade, there are Tri Wizard Spirit Rallies. It is a wet and rainy day out, so we will have to find some film from a prior performance to show you the Durmstrang boys dancing on stage here. It is a very fun show, very quick, but if you're passing through, it's worth stopping and giving it a look. We've got more alphabet to go. On to E. I have prepped Ben for E of the alphabet within the wizarding world. However, to give you a couple other options prior to E, we've got Expelliarmus, or we have Eternals Elixir Refreshments, which is over in Diagon Alley. You can grab a potion and mix it into your gilly water. However, I've got one better for you for E. Let's see what Ben has up his sleeve. Expecto Patronum! That was a solid E right there. All right, what do you think F stands for? I have no idea. Chocolate flies. Flies. No. Chocolate no. flies. You're wrong. Yeah. You're absolutely wrong. That's not what F stands for at all. Ben didn't do it big enough, guys. Expecto Patronum! Well, now that we got that out of our system, on to F, which is Forbidden Journey. We've already walked through the queue once. However, we're gonna talk about how great it is and show you some shots. And honestly, Forbidden Journey is the best themed Harry Potter ride here in Hogsmeade. Or, you know, within any part of the Wizarding World. So, that's F. What will G be? G is for a ginger newt. We are on to H. H stands for Harry Potter, Hogsmeade, but most importantly, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. This is the premier ride to ride in Hogsmeade when you come to the Wizarding World. Now, take our pro tip, and if you want to ride Hagrid's and not waste your whole day, you should ride it during EPA. 
If you want more EPA tips, check out the video that we linked below. We're happy to help make sure that you have the best experience possible when you come to Universal. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. What will I be? Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this. Well, to continue on in our ABC journey, we have to head over to Diagon. So, to get there, we're gonna jump on the Hogwarts Express. Mark that down for H at some point in time for this video. Hogwarts Express. We are at I. I was a tough one for me, but if you are truly magical, you know about the spells. I stands for Incendium. Now for J, which, you know, Forbidden Journey, that was an option, kind of. Um, but I, I know where we need to go for J. To the front of Diagon. Potter, Forbidden Journey. I'm sure there's other options, but I think the key to finding the right J for the Wizarding World alphabet is Jelly Slugs. I do not endorse these. They are not my favorite candy, but they're a J nonetheless. All three of our K words are outside of Diagon. We have creature, we have night bus, yes, that does start with a K, and we have King's Cross Station. We are now at L in our Wizarding World alphabet, and L, it stands for two things. One, it stands for Leaky Cauldron, a great place to eat in Diagon Alley. Two, it also stands for Leviosa, not Leviosa. However, I do want to point out, when it comes to the Leaky Cauldron, a fun little teaser, if you will, is outside of Diagon Alley, you have a sign for the Leaky Cauldron, which, if you're a muggle, it is easily missed. The reason they built it this way is because if you are reading the books, you'll see that J.K. Rowling mentions that muggles walk right past it, which is what, when you're here at Universal, you will see happen all the time. This is technically the entrance of the Leaky Cauldron, but muggles walk right past it every day. You don't get to see it until you get to Diagon. On to M. M stands for Moaning Myrtle. Now, we can't really show you Moaning Myrtle because you can't film in the restrooms in Hogsmeade. It's frowned upon, guys. However, if you go into the restrooms in Hogsmeade, listen. It's not somebody just having a rough time at the stall. Moaning Myrtle is in the pipes. She's in there and she will make a few noises. And as for Niffler, they'll steal your gold and your heart. They're adorable and I can't get enough of them. Oh, Alpost or Ollivanders, take your pick. We've got a lot of options. I think. It is worthwhile that if you are in Diagon, if you've never done it before, you need to do the Ollivanders experience. It is one of my favorite shows, and it makes me cry every time. The wand chooses the wizard, it's fantastic, and if you're lucky enough, maybe they'll pick you. Okay, P, we are on to P, and P stands for Pygmy Puff. How do you not love these adorable little creatures. I think, I think the slippers are the best part. My favorite thing about, though, about the Pygmy Puffs, especially if you are at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, is you get to do a naming ceremony. So, maybe we'll make our way down there and get a Pygmy Puff later today. Like, they're adorable, how can you not? Yeah. 
as much as I thought that Q could have been difficult, it really wasn't because we have a quibbler, we've got a quaffle, and we've got quality Quidditch supplies. Let's go take a look what they have inside. There's fun Quidditch gear, so we can continue to play up the Q. It's not for quandary today, guys. Although I could find an R and an S in the shop right now, let's go to Madam Malkin's for some ropes. We're at R. We've got Ron Weasley. We've got robes, but we have Rowena Ravenclaw. And since we're gonna throw in Rowena Ravenclaw for R, we might as well talk about Salazar Slytherin for S too. We are at T. T stands for Triwizard Spirit Rally or the Three Broomsticks. The Three Broomsticks is a sit-down restaurant in Hogsmeade, and it is terrific. See what I did there with the tea? I like it. You can get traditional English fare here from breakfast, lunch, to dinner. If you're looking for a little bit of blood sausage, they have it. If you want some fish and chips, they got it. But the item that I recommend everybody to grab, an apple pie. It is top-notch. I'm a big fan. It's breakfast time right now, so we're gonna have to hold tight, but Maybe we should go see what's on that menu still. This whole going back and forth between lands is not a piece of cake, guys. Apparition's not fun. And you can only ride the Hogwarts Express so many times. But we're on to you. Arguably my least favorite word in this alphabet. She's a real piece of work, but we're gonna go in here and show her off. U is for umbrage. What comes after you, Benjamin? V. You guys gotta follow me on this one. V stands for he who must not be named. That's a bit of a cop out. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> Witches, wizards, wands. Weasleys, Wizard Weasels. How many W's can you come up with in the wizarding world of Harry Potter? W! Weasleys, Wizard, Weasleys, Wizard Weasels. I can't get enough of it, and because of it, we might have to go back inside for X. I think they have what I need for X. I will say, for as much as Aubrey hates backtracking, we have done a ton of backtracking to get this video done. Don't worry, I've got an X. Wasn't it, in there though. It, I messed up. The what I wanted to use and show you is actually not here. But we've got another option of where I can show you. What are we on? What letter of the alphabet? X. X. So uh, it's pushing it here. Probably pushing it the most I could, but X stands for Xenophilius Lovegood, the father of Luna Lovegood. So we're gonna look at Luna's wand. Tim is saying. Tim did us one better. Xenophilius's wand is right here. We didn't even need to use Luna. Yes! Thank you. Save the day. All right, we got we got another one then. Uh, on to Y, which stands for Yaxley, and I know that one's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y for Yaxley. Ben, do you know who Yaxley is? A character in Harry Potter. I'll take it, but it's very broad. Yaxley's wand. We're almost through the alphabet. Can we do it? Can we finish it? We gotta go back over to Hogsmeade for Z. We do have to go back to Hogsmeade for Z, but we can do it. And finally, we have Z, which stands for Zonkos, the joke shop. 
I don't know if you are aware of it, but Zonko's is a joke shop that was in Hogsmeade and it was actually a area that you could go in prior to the expansion of Honeydukes. It's no longer available as an actual joke shop. You'll have to go to Diagon and enjoy Weasley's Wizard Wheezes instead, but you can take photos out front. You can check in what is in the windows. It is great and I'm happy to say that we could wrap up the ABCs of the Wizarding World. So those are the ABCs of the Wizarding World. I'm curious, what did we miss? What would you replace? Are those the ABCs that you would use if you were a wizard in Harry Potter? If you got anything out of this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We would love it to have you support our channel further by following us on our Patreon. We hope to see you next time. Bye.